Oh boy. Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome back to some more Creeper World 4. Uh, it's my birthday, or I guess it will be when this video goes out. And I figured I'd, I'd play uh, a couple of my favorite games that I've ever played. And unfortunately, this looks like I've thrown myself into a bit of a doozy. Uh, so I'm turning 33 as of today, so that's what the seed is. And I was hoping it would spawn me over here, but no. This island looks like heck. This one still looks kind of unmanageable, but at least, like, somewhat manageable. Uh, we got a decent amount of resources here, but getting access to them is going to be a bit of a dicey maneuver. Uh, so I'm just going to do what I can. All right. I haven't played Creeper World in a little while, and I've been feeling the itch. Somebody said, like, oh, I forget what the, the wording was, but it was something to the extent of, like, they really like it when I remember... The Creeper World exists because I usually go on, like, a weird bender and play, like, a bunch of Creeper World all at once. And you know what? Yeah. I like it when I do that, too. I absolutely adore Creeper World. I, God, at some point I'm going to have to, like, examine what are my favorite games of all time. Because it feels like this would rank, but I'd, like, really have to sit down and, and examine... All of my opinions here. Okay. So here's the dicey part. We're not going to be able to grid this. I think I'm going to give up on that. Uh, shift X. Pause for a second. Because, yeah, that's, that's coming in a little hot. And... I'm going to need to make sure it can't get through easily. We're probably just going to start with a couple of cannons going up and down this. I might not be able to do this. This is definitively one of the spookier looking, like, early maps I've had. Just because I don't usually start myself in such a way where uh, the creep just has, like, instant access to me not only is it instant access it's instant and pretty aggressive access uh but we will see you may also be wondering why my voice sounds weird i'm still sick i it's like mostly just the hey uh let's get all that shit out of my lungs stage but um i don't know i don't know about you guys but that's always the stage that takes the longest to clear on my end and it's a bit of an issue. Not like a huge one, but I'm going to sound like I've uh, been smoking a lot. And I'm not feeling the best. It's not that bad. Uh, compared to like where I was at the start of this whole me getting sick thing, this is absolute cakewalk. You know, I'm getting a reasonable amount of sleep. I feel much better and can generally do what do what I need to do. I just need to take long breaks uh, so my voice gets the chance to rest. Okay, so we are desperately going to need some power up in here. And then as soon as those are down, we should get a we should get a factory. We might even want the factory sooner. We'll finish one of the two. Right now, we are currently in a bit of a deficit. I don't know how long we have until the missiles start coming. Okay. Nice part is, because the creep is kind of split between two sides, this is going to be virtually unassailable. This might actually be manageable. Okay, there's the warning. Okay, a kind of rough deficit. I don't want to spend too much here, but we need to get a lot of these down kind of ASAP and evenly. I kind of wish there was a prioritization of Keep all my guns fed, then, then build. I'm just going to cancel that. It's going to get wrecked. See 
how many um how many do we have I'm just gonna give them a pair of urns for now power is going to be a serious issue for us for a moment so I might as well cube that up okay we've got some missiles Okay, so the worm the worms did some damage there. Ah, my snipers don't have enough ammo. Uh Oh, that's That's bad. It's, okay, that's not as bad as it could be. Okay, I'm just going to scoot this one in because this is leaking through. I was hoping my snipers would do a better job than that, but I suppose I didn't give them enough leeway to do so. Okay, the problem is... Yeah, we toasted this one. All right, let's let's restart. I think I was doing fine. I just needed to get the snipers down sooner. I almost feel like what I need to do is actually just start with a pair of mines right here. And ideally, move my defenses up a little bit. Last time I was kind of in this little crevasse, and I think that was hurting me. There's only so much I can do about that. I'm actually going to stop that one. We only want one mine for the time being. And yeah, I got to remember to earn up my snipers. Because against the little freaking stun crafts, it's... um. It's not, we need longer range than we had. Okay, there we go. Pause, pause, pause. There we go. There we go. That should be a little bit better. It feels like we have a lot more juice. And yeah, having my guns right on the edge. Should help. Okay, let's uh give them that an urn and get a factory down. Because we're going to want a couple missiles. Er, you are not the most practical at the moment. Yeah, sometimes the guns do a phenomenal job. Uh, sometimes not so much so. Okay. Just hook some of this stuff up. We're not 
in the most comfortable spots. urns are supposed to be for. See if we can get over here in time. Yeah, the urns and the mortars. Hopefully this will just get angry. There. Right, let's pause for a second. Let's set some things up. Can I get another miner in here? Yes. But then I'm going to need a turp. Get access to the rest. I might be able to, like, kind of make something work, but I'm not betting on it. Okay. Do we think I can get into here? I might... I might be able to. I think no matter what, we are going to have some issues with power here. And I'm going to do my best to kind of punch my way in. It feels like I'm going a little faster, though. Like, getting those mines down was the right call. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have Earn Want. Earn Want. Oh, here they come. Okay, so we might earnestly want, like, a lot more snipers. Okay. Wasn't that bad. Shockingly enough. We definitely need some more snipers, though. In odd spots. And I'd like to get onto this mountain, because if I can if I can push in here and take this, we can maybe do some serious damage. Okay, but you know what I should do? I should probably get some pylons up in here. two mines. I'm not going to push it too hard. We're spending a lot just in terms of uh, spending a lot of energy specifically on bullets and that's kind of expensive. Gosh, they have a lot of eggs and missiles. This is going to be a concern. I'm just going to get a couple of these pointed into the void. Okay, looks like looks like my missile launcher can and will take those out. This is a concern. Not as much of a concern as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Yes, here. Extend this up. Because I want as much power as I can possibly snag. There we go. Now let's get the urn port down. That seems like a fine... Fine-ish spot. I might get a, another missile launcher kind of back here.
is mostly... I think we've hit kind of a nice equilibrium, which is what we need. Because a nice equilibrium means I could get a bunch of support structures down. Uh, namely, if I can get these mines down, we'll be in a good spot. Looks like I could use some more mortars, is the other one. But this is starting to get a little dense. Yeah, it's not that bad. Just a little dense. I have a lot of heavy artillery. It's fine. Alright. I think we're done with that. I'll build like two of these. Maybe I can build all four? Yeah. Looks like I can. Oh, he's tapped the button to go into top-down mode. I think it might have. It's currently my pause button, because originally pause was P, which is just always struck me as kind of a weird, weird choice. Okay, we should probably get some refineries down. Okay, we've got, what, three different green R's? I don't know if we're going to have space for rockets yet, but we'll get there. Okay. Work on that. Deficit isn't too bad, and once again, it'll pay for itself. that's set. I uh, should probably move the turp up here so I can start working on this. We've got a lot of mining that I can work with. I just have to get in there. Still, this this doesn't look too bad. This looks unassailable. The fact that they even have this, like, just ocean in space defending them is um, a little unappreciated. Do we want to try and get some rockets down? I'll build at least one, seeing as we have so much. Like, so much liftic to spend on things. We might even want to do two. Alright, so how are we, how are we going to handle this? Because the other problem is I don't really have a whole lot of availability for, like, a turret rush. I think this specifically is where the rocket would be most helpful. And whoever we did, uh, let's do mine production, by rate, fire range. I'll go energy collection. So I think that's going to help. Okay, grab this stack of lads. It's not really going to do what I want it to do, is it? So I think we're going to snake along this and see what I can do. So if I can kind of take this this vein in and we can take this mountaintop that gives us a really good uh, angle to push in because if I can take this lower area two emitters, spore launcher and a skimmer factory 
uh, game gets much easier for me. Okay, while we're here, I want to get like a pair of Terps. Not that I'm going to be using this area too much for resource gathering, but if I flatten it out, it gives me some options. Let's just do that. It'll take a little bit for this to get going. Let's see, how are we doing on red? We've got red on our arg, whatever it's called. We've got an amount. And yeah, we're actually pushing them back. There was a uh, another map I tried to do while I was sick that I'm going to have to revisit at some point. It had this like beautiful choke point, but not enough land to get the energy in. So I, I was just so bottlenecked in that choke point. I think I spent an hour there. Uh, something to come back to, I think, when I feel like it and have the time. Okay, these these lads aren't doing anything. So let's um move them up. Yeah, if I can, I can get up top of that tower. Mesa? That gives me a lot of power. I just have to get there. That that tower is going to make it. Yeah, let's see if I can get them there. Because they'll have some power. Up to times two speed. Game's a little slow otherwise. Seems like they're holding. Give them a support tower just so they're not on their own. And yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make some gun walls advance my way in. Oop. Uh. Made it. And he did. Got hit by a bad wave. It's okay. Oh, and we've got rockets launching finally. Yeah, let's just move my mortars up in. Yeah, I think I think I just got wave wave machines. Nothing strictly wrong with that. Let's see. And you know what? I'm just gonna put one of these on top of every mountain. Maybe not that one, I don't know. Okay, let's just, um... Be a bit silly and flatten that out. see what I can do with it. I'm pretty sure I can get back on top of this mountain. I just have to work to get there. Looks like that'll fit. problem is this tower is not quite in the best spot. I can get another tower. 
Because I think the main thing is just two guns are not enough to protect this one area. Rage gun should kind of hold it. Okay, let's start building our second rocket pad. Oop. Hopefully that'll stay healthy. It did not. Yeah, the problem is keeping this area protected is a little tougher. But yeah, if I can take this hill. Let's just, um, let's level the hill out. Kind of make the hill undisputably a plateau on multiple sides. Okay. What else can I do in here? We can move a couple of my guns up. So they're actually doing some things. Because I figure if I can kind of take this corner. I'd like to get a couple more mines down. And maybe start looking into getting some anti-creep. Just to protect uh, the small handful of holdings I'd, I'm able to put together. Yeah, some of those waves are a little punchy. Alright, we lost a tower. Okay, I, I try to keep it somewhat redundant. Do I want to get a couple more terps? I'll get two. Now, we could also do, like, a rain and a conversion if we wanted to. I think I will. We have so much. Let's just cut it down. I guess I should also maybe use that somewhat defensively. That if it looks like the area is going to get hammered a little bit, that's the best time. Energy-wise, we can swap these to blue eye now. And yeah, we'll just grab a couple of sprayers, stick them in these like little little spots here, and then just turn them on. Guess this is, ended up being weirdly unnecessary. Oh. Well. Okay. That's a really good sniping spot to hang out and deal with. Anything that comes on the north side. And then this one's this one's getting there. And yeah, I'll get I'll get one sprayer up top. See if I can kind of undercut uh Undercut, if I can fill in some of these gaps a little bit and also push back against these. So we've kind of filled this out a little bit. We've got a... We've got a sprayer up top. And we've got this kind of little wall. I could actually probably keep pushing my way in. With just kind of periodic guns. Because the... The anti-creep. Uh, 
should keep them somewhat at bay. Okay. This area is weirdly problematic. And I haven't fully processed why. I'm going to do another rain, uh, especially because we have so many orbitals. Uh, just knock this area down and give my ter terp some more time to work. Because again, if I can turn this pla this mountain into a plateau, uh, like a very defensive plateau, that gives me a lot of options. It's flowing in through here. Why it keeps getting kind of uh, dense. I'm still probably going to handle this section first, even if it's probably one of the harder spots to specifically assault. Hmm. Now we are raising up some of the digitalis. I could see that being an issue, depending on where it ends up. Okay. Looking at this now, yeah, those extra mortars have honestly cowed this area. I'm going to let this area stay low, though, just because I, I don't want to have to deal with Digitalis just kind of messing me up. Let's see. While we're here, we should probably get another M-Rift down. Just kind of the heart, heart of my defensive structure. I think we're having some resource thoroughfare issues. Let's give that one a earn. Not that it can do anything at the moment. It is it is currently just uh well out of power. Let's hit it with a rain. Just depleted a little bit in this area. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do... Probably just push the old cannon line. Cannon line, tower line, cannon line, tower line, cannon line, tower line, until we're out of foes to deal with. Yeah, we've got so many resources, I might as well do this. And this way, if anything goes wrong, even at this point, though at this point, like, super unlikely for anything to even go remotely close to bad. Let's, um... Let's get a mortar here. give it an urn because unfortunately as long as these three are together it's going to be a little difficult to actually push in there may or may not be a lot of enemies or enemies uh there's just a lot of creep being generated there and it's going to be difficult to to keep that to a minimum to get a nullifier in What do we have? Rockets, bombers, runways. Yeah, so we don't have any of the special structures. I wonder if they got removed. Because I thought they had been available on, like, every map previously. Every custom map. Do I want to 
just sneak in some mortars. Because if I can take this entire lower area... Oh yeah, because it's completely isolated too. That yeah, should make my life a lot easier. Fun oh god. This might be one of those where I have to retool and get like planes. In fact, I, I think that's exactly going to be what, what it is. Expect to get all of those built. Though, maybe. Maybe. I think we can actually punch our way in. We just have to get these fully built. Okay, let's just get a couple of those. It looks like we're kind of fine. I get that there. Well, it doesn't get destroyed immediately. Cuz yeah, if I can if I can nullify those two simultaneously, Overload. At least overload is in the custom mode. Oh yeah, we immediately got skimmered. There it goes. As the charging, it is cool. Let's do the same thing as earlier. Oh. Get another nullifier down because it again if it's just the skimmer factory here then it's not so bad there get a couple of towers here and wherever Okay, looks like they they destroyed it right off the bat. We do have some worms. Nope, we don't have any worms. Okay, set that one overload, and yeah. Got that area. I think I'll just wait until they've destroyed both of these, the emitter and the skimmer factory. Oh, how do we get it? Oh, actually getting in here might not be that bad. I'm just going to. I'm just going to turret rush this lowland area. Because if I can just take it for myself. We're probably going to lose maybe a couple of these. I lost two. That's not bad. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this mountaintop. Yeah, because the, the mountaintop is not particularly well defended, so I can kind of just take it for myself. Maybe we lost, like, a guy, but the 
practical benefits just vastly outweigh. And the nice part is, like, casualties in this game are just kind of nothing. I know that comes off as maybe a little on the callous side, but I don't know. Let's take all my terps up. Still don't like that acronym that much. Oh, you know what I can do? Make my life easier. I got like a gazillion rockets. I I think I'm probably going to save them though and just like really hammer that when we get there. But I figured this will keep it down. Let's see, weapon sprayer. I am honestly shocked that none of those worms did any damage. The uh, Rage Sniper has way more range than I thought it would. There we go. Yeah, those two sprayers should keep the mountain top reasonably secure for the time being. Let's do the exact same thing here. All right, perfect. Yeah, still got a little ways to go. <laughs> this island amuses me to no end. Let's see. Things considered. Let's just get a bunch of these down. And... Just kind of... Layer it with snipers. I don't think we have much else to worry about in this zone. Okay, maybe put a couple of missile launchers down in various spots. Uh, but if we can, if we can just keep some snipers here, I don't think anything's ever going to get in. Oh, uh, I guess I can give it a couple of mortars just in case they decide to get stinky. Right, let's take a look at this mess. Let's see, get an MRIF down right there, sure. And yeah, we have plenty of towers. You wanna just move these lads up? Yep. There we go. Yeah, because if I can take that out, this is the last of the emitters in this side of the map. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Because yeah, if we have this functionally nullified... Or functionally, if we have it... If we have it nullified at the moment, and then we can, uh, then we can blow it up. Then all we have to do is just cakewalk our way in here. I know the spore launcher is still going to output some, but that's less of an issue. And then all I have to do is just, um, I mean, I, I guess it would be a taste of their own medicine kind of situation where I just start bombarding them from afar. I think that might even be what I do. Uh, do like a bunch of conversions right here. Um, I 
Let's see. But yeah, do a bunch of conversions right on that, um, that one point. Okay, do we want to just scoot up? Sure. I think there might have been some eggs there. Shoot. Okay, it's working a little bit better. Ah, uh, not fully. Do we do another? No. Not not when I have a senseless amount of lives lives? Uh turrets that I can waste here. And by waste I mean spend wisely. Okay, let's scoot that up. Get a couple of those. Yeah, nullify both of those. There's still the air sac cauldron, but they're kind of not a threat. At least not for the moment. And they also tend to not go, they tend to go for like center of mass for my base. They're not the most, um, They rarely push back against my front line. I guess would be the way way to put it. Okay. Keep scooting a couple of these up. Because yeah, if I can take this, the uh the multiplier is gonna work in my favor. Just have to hold it long enough that they don't all die in the process. Okay, let's turn this off. Unit off. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So at this point, this is mine. You charging? Yes. Uh oh. It destroyed my nullifier somehow. Probably just a sneaky worm. Or I wasn't paying attention and just let it get get got. So I have 29 orbitals. Um I guess I should get another refinery down. How are we doing this? Because the problem is I don't have a good spot for a beachhead. Okay. That's mostly hooked up. I don't know why that won't fit. And I'm just gonna aim for that for the time being. This is gonna be a little expensive. Oh, my nullifier. That went off. That's what happened here. Okay. So I think at this point my island is probably in as good of a spot as it's going to be able to get for a little while. We don't have to worry about them attacking me too much.
I guess in retrospect, I'm just going to have them shoot that area over there. <laughs> yeah, there's pretty much no way I'm going to be able to take them out fully here. However, I can drop a lot of those. Maybe I should just get a bunch of transport transporters down. Pause for a second. Let's try it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough here. No, I'm not. I think I'd actually be better off with rain in retrospect. Unless I'm mistaken, I think rain is cheaper. Yeah. Rain is the superior one. Look at that go. Like, the conversion is nice, but I should save that for later. Unfortunately, I've just blown through my entire supply. Okay, fine. Time to do the other thing. Oh, can I not? I can't build on this stuff. Ooh. one of those down in a somewhat protected spot and then we'll work our way over. I think I'm going to let the orbitals rebuild. I mean, we've done a ton of damage to them. They were at 1.5 mil. Ah. It's like they knew... They knew what I was up to. Let's get these guns down. Oh, the one problem with these platforms is that they're in direct competition. <coughs> they're in very direct competition with my missiles, aren't they? Okay. I've got a bunch of orbitals ready. And I've got a bunch of guns. Let's build some more. Let us build one of the biggest cannon rushes, rushes I have ever done. Because, yeah, if I just have a silly amount of guns kind of built up on this island, ready and raring to go. almost kind of wish there was just like a click and drag and it would try and build as many, uh, as many of whatever structure as possible to like fill the, um, fill the space. Uh, oh my god, we can cover their entire dang island with guns. Perfect.
Okay. I... The Reclaimer was funny. Okay, so we're gonna switch you to Arc. Switch to that. Uh, pause. I gotta actually think about what I'm doing here just a smidge. Because I'm going to need a pair of nullifiers. We're going to want an M-Rift. Alright. Do another rain there. Keep it low. Now I have to worry about this blob nest. Okay. Didn't destroy anything critical. Oh, and we've got the we've got the M rift down. Okay, I'm just gonna overload that one. I was not expecting the M rift to work quite so well. But yeah, now that we don't have to worry about that blob nest, we do have this other blob nest. Let's just make a bulwark of gun. Alright. So there's one of the blob nests. Overload this one. Get another nullifier there. Get nullifier there. I'd have to build like two. But I think we're going to need a beacon. A bacon. Oh, no. It got nullified before it wormed. So I think at this point we're golden. Because this is... No, there's one more emitter there. Okay. That's good. And we've got the one dark zone. We've got... Or, the two dark zones, a bunch of eggs here. And then this single remaining emitter. I think I'm just going to probably drop rain on it so we have no egg. Only rain would trigger egg. But, alas, it do not. Wait, did I build another? I thought it, I swore I built another beacon. Must have gotten zapped. Move the lads up. And nullify this one. Overload it. Kind of just clear everything in. Alright, so far so good. Except for a nullifier. Nullifier. And then all that's left, hopefully after this, will be a dark tower. Which, that's not even a threat. That's not even a uh, concern. Ah, they blew it up. I think the answer is too many egg.
Oh, let's, um... Have them actually do some something productive as opposed to just shooting my own base. Those are overloading. I'll just do a conversion out here. Now maybe we should do a rain first. There's just too many egg. We need to remove egg. Once there are no more egg, then we can actually get in here. Did it actually convert? I have no idea. Convert along that edge. I don't know necessarily if I'm going to be able to win. Against regular creep right here. I think we're going to get pushed back against. Yeah, it's fine. But we also don't need to care. We are very much at the end, end here. Well, if I was still using Creeper World to predict how life will go, uh, 33 ain't so bad. A little messy, but once again, uh, don't get worried about it. Fill your bathtub and, uh, drop an ungodly amount of turrets on your problems and it'll just go away like immediately. And then there will be nothing left. All right. I'm going to go cough out a lung. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday to me.